Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pink Holiday Flankers Collection from Victoria's Secret. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started! I'm happy to finally be able to review the second holiday collection from Victoria's Secret Pink. I previously reviewed the We Heart Holiday Collection, and I'll link that in the description box if you want to check that out. This video will focus on the Pink Holiday Flankers Collection, also known as the Glow Collection, and I picked up all four of the fragrance mists and a couple of the body lotions. Some of the pieces have started to pop up in stores, but they do have the whole collection online now. The packaging is similar to the core line, but there are some nice glowy accents on it. As the name indicates, this collection is comprised of flankers of Pink's core fragrances. Before I get into the scents, I wanted to mention that I think VS has the wrong notes listed for all of these scents online. They usually list three fragrance notes online versus the two on the bottle, but the expanded notes don't match what's on the bottles, and they all seem to be the exact notes for the original scent instead of the flanker in the Glow Collection. I wanted to mention that because I won't be listing the expanded notes for each scent in this video. The collection includes Soft and Dreamy Glow, which has violet and floral notes. Next is Cool and Bright Glow, which is a musky pear scent. Then there's Fresh and Clean Glow, with notes of champagne and mandarin. And lastly, there's Warm and Cozy Glow, which has amber and vanilla. And now let's get on to the reviews. First up is Soft and Dreamy Glow, and this comes in a light pink accented bottle. And this has notes of glistening florals and wild violet. And I do like violet scents, so I was looking forward to this one. And it opens heavily with florals. And honestly, they're a bit too strong at first, and I feel like I have to wait a little while for the alcohol to dissipate. As it dries, the florals do soften, and the violet becomes more noticeable, and it does have a little bit of that expected powdery feeling to it. At times, it does also seem a little bit soapy as well. And I feel like there might be a very subtle amount of wittiness in here, similar to the original Soft and Dreamy, and that brings in a very subtle sweetness as well. And I feel like I'm ultimately left with a soft, airy floral scent. I also picked up the body lotion for this scent, and a reminder that the lotions in the pink fragrance body care line are not as thick as the ones in the pink pump bottles. I find that the lotion for Soft and Dreamy Glow is also pretty floral heavy. It smells a bit like wildflowers, but it softens to a somewhat creamy floral scent. It's not very sweet, but it does have a hint of a powdery feeling from the violet. I think it's okay, but overall, I think that the Soft and Dreamy Glow scent in both the Fragrance Mist and the Lotion are just a like for me, not a love. Next up is Cool and Bright Glow, which comes in a bottle with light blue accents. And this one has notes of Luminous Musk and Candied Pear. And this opens with a lot of musk and a heavy floral note. And I don't find that it's a clean, light musk, it feels heavy and a bit dirty, if that makes any sense. There's also a bit of fruitiness, but I don't immediately get pear from it. It just seems sort of sour to me. And as it dries, I start to get some of a citrusy feeling, and it's very sharp, and there's also a bit of wateriness to the scent. And overall, I have to admit, I just don't really like this scent. I'm not always a huge fan of pear, so I wasn't really expecting to love this one, but I don't think that it's just the pear turning me off. It's just overall not very pleasant. It feels a bit harsh and kind of screechy and somewhat like a citrusy cleaner that has a sour note to it. And I also don't think that I care much for the musk that's in this scent. And I didn't pick up the body lotion for this one because I didn't have high hopes for the scent, and I guess that worked out for me. And then there's Fresh and Clean Glow, which comes in a hot pink accented bottle, very similar to the original. And this has notes of bubbly champagne and juicy mandarin. And this does open with a bit of a bubbly champagne feeling, but there's something a little bit off-putting about it for me, and it sort of reminds me of shampoo. 
I do get some fruitiness, but it's not instantly identifiable as mandarin. And after a little while, the citrus is a bit more noticeable, as well as something that feels kind of watery. And I feel like there's also a floral note in here, even though it's not listed. And I find that note is a bit too strong for my liking. And I don't think I really care for this scent much either, although it did seem to be stronger than the other scents in this collection. And again, I didn't bother picking up the lotion for this one. And the last scent in the collection is Warm and Cozy Glow, which comes in a bottle with melon-colored accents. And this has notes of glowing amber and warm vanilla. And this scent was very elusive. None of my stores had it, and it took forever to show up online, even though all of the other scents were available. Warm and Cozy is my favorite scent in the main pink line, so I was really looking forward to trying this one. I find that it opens with a soft vanilla, and it's not a very sweet vanilla. There's also some fruitiness, but it's not really identifiable as passion fruit to me. And I feel like the scent is just very light at first. And when it dries down, I do start to get more of that warm amber mixing with the soft vanilla, which gives a very sweet and cozy feeling to the scent. And I think that once it's dried, you can definitely pick up on the feeling of the original warm and cozy fragrance. This is the sweetest scent out of the collection, but it's not really a super sweet scent. So I do like this scent, but I have to say that last year's flanker, Warm and Cozy Sugared, was much sweeter, and I liked it a lot more than this one. I also picked up the lotion for this one, and it's warm and sweet. I find it to be warmer and more ambery than the fragrance mist, as well as a bit less sweet overall. I also think that the vanilla is more noticeable in the mist. So while I like the scent overall, it feels pretty light in both the fragrance mist and the lotion, so I don't think longevity is going to be great without layering and touching up. So to sum up, I have to say I don't really love this collection from Pink. It doesn't really seem much like a holiday collection, and I also didn't feel a cohesive theme to it. I'm not sure if by glow they meant these were supposed to be lighter, but some of the scents seem very watery and not very strong. If I had to rank these, there were definitely two that I didn't care for. My least favorite was Cool and Bright Glow, as it was just too soapy and sour. And I also didn't really like Fresh and Clean Glow, which seemed like a harsh shampoo. And I think that Soft and Dreamy Glow was okay if you like soft violet or floral scents. And Warm and Cozy Glow is a nice warm ambery vanilla, but it just wasn't really anything very special. So while I think two of the scents are okay, I wouldn't really recommend running out to find this collection. Instead, I would recommend the We Heart Holiday Collection from Pink, as well as the Holiday Collections from the VS side. So that's it for my review of the Pink Holiday Flankers Collection. Let me know your thoughts on these scents, especially if you've had the chance to try them. Thank you for watching, I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.